One of the most highly anticipated matchups of this tournament so far is almost underway. Hello folks and welcome to the Max Stern Athletic Center for this matchup between the Shalhevet Firehawks and the Maga David Yeshiva Warriors. And welcome to the NCSY Summer Pre-Game Show, Best Summer Ever. My name is Akiba Earlbaum and I am joined on color commentary by Asher Dower. And Asher, we are in for a treat today. Two of some of the best teams in the tournament about to face off. Both of them facing a lot of adversity early in this tournament. Tell us how they got here. Yeah, both teams came out of the gate a little bit slowly yesterday. Fortunately for Mag and David, able to pick it up in the second half, taking down the DRS Wildcats by a comfortable margin. Shall have it more interestingly, playing the 16 seed MTA Lions. Came out very slowly, went down 10 at a point in the second quarter. Coach Coleman was livid with their performance and their efforts, specifically on the defensive end. So look for them to come out in this one with high energy, high intensity. Well, you're absolutely right. Another developing storyline is that two of the most talented players in this tournament will be facing off in this game. But don't get it twisted. Both of these rosters are stacked from bottom to top. What can you tell us about those two guys specifically and the impact that they will have on this game? Yeah, starting on the Mag and David side, their everything guy is Asher Malamud. They work their entire offense through him. The big man towering in the paint. He can dribble, he can shoot it, he can pass it as well. Just look for Shalhevet to try and take him out of the game. And then, and then for Shalhevet, we know um, their best player, Avi Halper, debatably the best player in this entire tournament. So look for him to try and get going early. Started the game a little bit passively yesterday and let the game come to him. Look for him to try and get shots up early in this one. All right, well, you will not want to miss this one. We will meet you back up in the booth. Welcome, everyone, to this matchup between the Shalhevet Firehawks and the Maga David Yeshiva Warriors. The starting lineups for tonight are sponsored by the Yeshiva University Office of Admissions. As you start your college journey, make sure you visit us online to check out all the great events and opportunities we have for YU students. On the Shalhevet side, starting at guard number four, Aiden Bitron. Guard number 35, Avi Helpert. Guard number 10, Elijah Stern. Number five, guard Nathan Selam. And number zero, guard Oz Shalom. And on the Maga David side, number three, guard Albert Moseri. Forward, number 22, Mark Sardar. Number 25, forward Ben Gindi. Number 32, forward Jack Haber. And number 34, center, Asher Malamud, as we are getting ready for tip-off. And we are just about ready to go. It will be Maggot David basketball to start out, but the ref quickly calls the backcourt. 
allows Shal Hebet to take it out from the sideline and start off this game. Yeah, Coach Dweck for MDY, not happy with that star right there. Telling his team, stay patient, stay smart. That's the only way they're going to beat this, this high-powered Firehawk squad. Here's Elijah Sturt starting from the top of the key. Gets it into the corner. Three ball. Bang! Aiden Beatron starts it off with a bang. And the Firehawk faithful love to see that early on. And just like that, Mag and David responds with a two of their own by number 15, Gindy. Some early action here in this contest. Here's Halper trying to penetrate from the baseline. Gets the shot off. No good. Shell Hebert gets the ball back. There's Beatron again, analyzing his options. Ball into the corner. Beatron for three. No good. Sardar looking to push the other way. And although Beatron wasn't able to get that three to go from deep, Great job by them working the ball around, stretching out this 2-3 zone from the Mag and David Warriors. There's a three ball, missed off of the rim. Halpert trying to push the pace of this game early on. There's a drive, and contact was drawn. And a great take right there from Selim. Coach Coleman wants to see him getting in this game early, staying aggressive. Yesterday, didn't play so well in the first half, and I heard Coach Coleman talking to Selim in the locker room post game, telling him that he took himself out of the game yesterday with his mind, um, telling him to always stay confident throughout this one, and loves to see him getting to the line, getting two easy ones right now. Look for him to continue to remain aggressive throughout this one. As Selim hits the first one, looking to do the same with the second. And he does. Put it up, shall have it by a score of five to two. Defense, 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 defense. There's a steal going for the fast break. Selim again, pretty play by Selim. Great hustle, timeout call by Maggie David Yeshiva. Coach Shrek gonna talk things over with this team. We're gonna send it to commercial break. Welcome back, folks. NCSY Summer is the premier summer trip provider for Jewish teams across the world with over 20-plus programs spanning the U.S., Israel, and Europe. NCSY Summer could some find something for you. Visit summer.ncsy.org. Malamud gets the ball at the baseline. Shall have it using too many hands. Haber looking to inbound the ball. Gets it out to Moseri. Playing catch along the perimeter. So I'll have it really picking up the defense here. Not letting anything slip by them. But again, too aggressive with those active hands. Not sure if that was a second on Jacobson right there, but looks like... Miles will now check in, sending Jacobson to the bench. Although he picked up a foul right there, Coach Coleman still loves to see the aggressiveness on defense. Haber. And the ball will be going the other way. Shall have it, Firehawk basketball. 
And we mentioned Jacobson. Coach Coleman told us before the game that he wasn't feeling his best. So look for Oz Shalom to play a much bigger role in this game. Three ball, no good. Asher Malamed retains the rebound, sends it over to Moseri. Moseri looking at his coach for instruction. There's Asher Malamed, really hasn't been able to get going. And there's the fast break steal. Layup is good. Nathan Selim establishing himself early in this game on both sides of the floor. And exactly what Coach, what Coach Kohler wanted to see. Aggressiveness by Nathan Selim. Already two steals and another forced turnover right there. For Shahada, Coach Ike Dweck of the MDY Warriors not happy with this one. We didn't mention it in the pregame show, but both of these coaches have a lot of experience in this tournament. Both very good coaches. And look for a chess match between Coach Coleman and Coach Dweck throughout this one. MDY seems to be starting in the 2-3 zone. She'll have in the man, but look for both of them to change that up at some point in this game. Great pass inside. Sell him with the pretty finish. Abby Halper putting on the goggles with that excellent court vision. Cohen nowhere to go. Ref surprisingly decides not to call that foul. And Halpert is in full pursuit. Three ball, sell him. Bingo! Shal Hebet is on fire, taking a commanding lead of 14 to two. And we are gonna send it to timeout. Welcome back, folks, in this early matchup. Shal Hevet has really been keeping their foot on the gas, stunning Maggie David Yeshiva. And it looks like Nathan Selim already has 11 early points in this game, establishing himself offensively and defensively. Asher, what do you think so far? Yeah, exactly what Coach Coleman wanted to see from him. Coming out aggressive early in the first quarter. We know what Avi Halpert can do. He's really the stub for Shaw Havet, but when Shaw Havet's at their best, they're getting the rest of their five involved. Um, we mentioned it before, Selim came out pretty slowly yesterday. And when he's hitting, then it sets up everybody else. Ina Bitron, an open three earlier on as well. And then it will open things up for Avi Halper as this game progresses as well, up here. Mag and David going to look to run their set offense out of the timeout. Cohen thought about a three, didn't take it. Getting swarmed inside. Gindy couldn't handle the pass, and his foot touched the line. Out of bounds. Shall have it basketball. Some costly turnovers early in this game as Mag and David is caving under the pressure so far. Almost got a steal in their own there. Still shall have the ball. MDY coming out in the full court press. Now where you want to inbound the ball. We call that dead man's corner. Easy to trap defensively right there, but breaks it. And another wide open layup for Selim. And Halpert and Selim, building on their chemistry, playing that two man game, have been facilitating for one another all day long so far. There's Malamed, draws the contact, and he's gonna go to the charity stripe to shoot two. Malamed forcing the issue right there, just his first shot attempt of the game. And that's a win for Shalhevet, we mentioned it. 
He's the number one player for this MDY team. He's their everything guy. And Joel Hevitt's done a great job of denying him the basketball. Able to get to the line here for two. A good way to jumpstart his performance on the offensive end. Look for them to continue to try and work through him. We would like to thank Dougie's for being a proud Max Live sponsor for the best BBQ and grill and T-neck. Make your way to Dougie's. Go to Dougie'sBBQ.com to order. The link is in the description of this video. As Malamid hits the second. Magan still employing the full court press. And they managed to create some disruption. Here's Cohen getting the steal and Haber pushing the other way. Series of jab moves. Sardar wide open from three. No good. It's going to stay the Magan David way. Inside, Malamed was wide open and got the foul with the potential for an and one. Yeah, Coach Coleman not happy with that inbound defense from this team. But a great play drawn up right there from Coach Dweck of MDY. He said it was going to be a chess match between these two coaches, already showing it early in this one. As Zane Mendelson for Shaw Hubbard will check in for Aiden Trump. But I remember when I was in high school, when I was a senior, we played against the MDY Warriors. I went to Shaw Hubbard. We played against MDY Warriors in the championships of Sarachek. And both of these coaches, Coach Coleman and Coach Dweck, continuously changing their defense throughout the entire game. And look for that to continue in this one. Another full court press by MDY. Putting Halpern in trouble. Full court Jokic pass. Beautiful chemistry by Shal Hevet. To finish and break that press. Arakachi back in the game with some late game heroics last game against the RS. Things are getting chippy. Players are getting onto the floor. It's going to stay Maggie David basketball. A great hustle shown right there by Selim. Diving on the floor for that loose ball. Something we saw none of yesterday. And the way Shell Heaven has started the game today versus the way they started yesterday has really been night and day. It's shown with an 11 point lead right now, 2.34 left to go in this first quarter. Exactly what the Shahaba coaches wanted to see from their squad. Here's Sardar. Looking to get the offense flowing. Inside to Malamid, access denied. Selim going into the lane, left hand, no good. Ball is saved miraculously. Still in play, here's Halpert. That's right by the defender, Eurostep. A little too far into the corner there on the pass. But here's Halpert again. Can't get the call that he wanted. Dangerous passes by both teams here. But Arakanchi finishes the layup. Great job by Magan getting the length of the floor in about five seconds there. A collision near midcourt. Both players hitting the deck. And a scary sight here as Oz Shalom was holding his head. We hope he's okay. Looks like he is. And aside from that deflection, the first play that MDY came out in this press, Shalhavet has done a great job of breaking this press. Showing real equanimity, staying poised, passing the ball around in the backcourt, and has not been flustered at all by the MDY Warriors press. Zane Mendelssohn commanding the floor. I mean, this guy is automatic right now. He's getting any type of shot that he wants. Nathan Selim with another easy two from mid-range. 15 points for Selim already. Another charge. This has been one of the stories of this tournament. The referees have been whistle happy. Looking to call a charge at any point in the game. Looks like a substitution will be made 
for Mag and David. Jack Franco seeing his first action tonight. And who other than Nathan Selim in the middle? Despite his 15 points, sacrificing his body on the defensive end, showing he could do it all on both ends of the floor. Oh, Shalom already becoming a fan favorite in this game for his hustle and his effort with the football pass. Left it too far out of bounds. Alpert was not able to come up with it. And you know that's why he didn't try out for quarterback. Michelle have it have a football team, Asher? They do. They do indeed. Flag to tackle. <laughs> Flag. I highly doubt Moses is on the team. If he was, definitely not at QB. But that's why he plays basketball. Everyone has to find what they're good at and hone their skills in that area. There's Haber. Pass inside to Malamed. Getting swarmed. Finishes with the left hand. Begging for the call with the contact. What is the ref calling here? We're trying to get a read on it. It looks like the Mag and David bench stood up. He's getting a little too excited. And they got a warning from the referees. Here's Halper with a wide open sell up. Those two guys just continue to get it going. And Halpert, usually known as a scorer, has been a facilitator tonight. He has four assists. There's Sardar. Rick Arakachi looking to create space. Sardar out to the side, open three. Yes, sir. Three ball by Franco, making his impact in this game. And Coach Dweck wisely telling his team to back title on defense. Electing not to press for the final possession of this first quarter, probably a wise decision. As Shalhevet has comfortably broken the press time and time again, getting Natan Selim layup after layup, already with 17 points in this quarter, pretty unheard of for a high school game. Here's Halpert, gonna look into the corner, try to beat the buzzer. Last second opportunity for Selim. Can he hit it? Money ball! Nathan Selim celebrates with his teammates as he extends these leads. He has 20 points already at the end of this first quarter. Action is picking up, we're gonna set it to timeout. I've caught like five buzzer beaters in this tournament. <laughs> Okay, what about, what about? for Kennedy, but take it back by, by Lightford. Give it to Terrell. Terrell! Dip right, Terrell Kumar! Welcome back, folks, to what has been the Nathan Selim show so far in this game. Shall have it as 25 to MDY's 14. Follow your path at YU. Learn how you can jumpstart your graduate education with a Pathways Dual Degree or Early Assurance program. Join us at our March info sessions taking place on campus or on Zoom. For the full schedule, please visit yu.edu slash pathways slash info sessions. Start planning for your future today as the players hit the floor ready for the second quarter of action. Looks like they're coming out in a triangle too, it appears. Trying to take out Halper and Nathan Selim. Rarely see this defense, but Coach Dweck trying to take out Shahabit's two star players to start the second quarter. It seems to work right there. Elijah Stern turned that one over, didn't have the angle on the pass. There's Sardar. 
playing some catch behind the arc. With his teammate Franco, Franco has it again. He hit a three earlier in that first quarter. Haber gets a shot off from the high post. Bottoms. And let's see if Shalhava is able to adapt to this triangle two defense from MDY. Hard to deny on Selim and Halpert. Other guys are gonna have to get involved right now. Ball worked inside to Selim. Gets it out to Halpert. Doesn't have much space shot to it. Zane inside. Elijah pretty finished with the left hand. Great ball movement to open up the floor by Shal Hebbett. What a great pass by Mendelssohn. Great vision seeing the cutting Stern. And a nice one dribble up. Off hand finish by Stern right there. A great way to wait to uh, to beat this new defense that NDI showed. Malamed, how did he get that one to go? Barely had an angle, no room to operate, but he still managed to twirl it into the basket. Here's Halper penetrating the lane. That foul is gonna be before the shot. Uh, some substitutions will be made here. Oz Shalom, the fan favorite, checking back into the game for Shalhevet. Sell him inside, access denied. Second chance for Shalhevet. Great defensive stop there by Maggot David. Three ball, no good. It looked like it hit the sixth defender there. The infamous YU bar that has plagued so many who have played in this gym in the past. Asher, you ever hit the sixth defender? Don't think so. Never had that much arc on my shot. Ball brought inside by Halpert. Really tough look for him. Ball's gonna go out of bounds. Referee makes the right call. Looks like that went off of Shalhevet, it's Aiden Bitron. So Shalhevet with a nine point lead. Maggie David still in this one. Asher Malamed, once he gets to his spots, is so dangerous with his footwork. But what Shalhevet has been doing a great job of is denying those entry passes. Yeah, Coach Coleman not so happy with the foul call right there. Look for them to try and deny him the ball in the post because right off the catch, very dangerous down there. And as I say that, another foul picked up by Shalom in the post. Both of these bigs, with Shalom and Jacobson, may be in foul trouble early. Look for them to try and stay disciplined as this game progresses. Maybe try and front the pass not even let the entry pass come into Malamed at all. Ball in the corner. Shall have it not given him an inch. Great stop there by Elijah Sturd to keep his feet planted, not fall for any of the pump fakes or jab steps. Yeah, but you can see the full court defense by Sadar. Trailing Avi Halper the entire way down the floor. Here's Halpert. We're going to see if he can get going. As he is the primary bucket getter in this, on this team. There's a wide open man in the corner. Stern doesn't see him. Now he does. Three ball. No good. And a ticky tack foul. Call by the ref right there, Coach Coleman and Al Shalom not happy. That's all, that's three fouls picked up by Shalom in one minute of playing time. Would expect him to sit on the bench for the rest of this half. Not sure if I agree with the call right there, but MDY will take it. And already seven fouls, eight fouls for the Shalhavet Firehawks, sending Gindi to the line for the Warriors, trying to cut this deficit to just seven. 
one of the disadvantages of being so tenacious on defense is that you could get into foul trouble as we see that here from Shell Heaven. Here's Stern. Beautiful ball movement. The pass was a little low. Yeah, Stern wants that one back. Had a cutting Jacobson wide open for a layup. Threw it at the big man's feet. Can't really expect him to collect that one. Here's Shalmi checking into the game. Cornaga David. Franco had a cut there. Coach Dweck barking out orders. Saw Darker looking to go to his right side. Left hand, no good. Selim, full head of steam. Going into the lane on the right side. Denied by Maggie David. And just like that, we're going the other way. Here's Franco, out to Sardar. The pace of this game is rapid and it is only picking up. Alam, a beautiful pass inside. Exquisite court vision displayed by Asha Malama there, assisting Franco for the easy two. Michelle Heaven has gotten into some turnover trouble of their own on the past few possessions. Yeah, letting the MDI Warriors speed them up on the offensive end. Isaiah Mendelson checks in for Jacobson now. Now Ashton Malaban outsizing everyone on the Shalhavik team, looking for them to focus on him defensively. Here's Shalmi. Swinging the ball along the perimeter. The crowd energy is starting to pick up. Sardar. Great steal there. Bitron going the other way. Wisely pulls it out, but then takes the one-legged shot. Dirk style, no good. Yeah, not the greatest shot selection right there from Michon. Good job getting the steal. But Coach Coleman wanted him to throw that ball out. An extended 1-3-1 zone here by Shaw Hebbett, trying to keep the ball outside of the paint, forcing them to shoot shots. And they'll live with that. Gindy is rewarded for his hustle there as he was pushed by Shalhebet. Great offensive board. As this game draws closer, it's going to start to be about who wants it more, and Gindy wanted it more on that play. Yeah, Shalhebet switching to a 1 3 1 zone here for the, for the last couple minutes of the second quarter. The idea behind that is to try and keep MDY outside of the perimeter, not let Asha Malavid catch the ball down deep, and they'll live with MDY shooters firing away from back there. But the issue when you run a zone like that is you run the risk of giving up easy offensive rebounds as we saw Gindy get right there, going to the line, trying to knock down the second free throw. So if you have it, it's gonna run that 1-3-1. One, one. Coach Coleman, you already know, is gonna be telling his team they have to box out on every single play. As again, MDY again. In a triangle two, Franco guarding Selim, denying him the ball, and denying Avi Halpert the ball as well, the entire way down the floor. As Jojo Levy just checked into the game for Mag and David. Here's Bitron with the Euro step. Couldn't get it to know, and the ref saw that with ease. Maggot David couldn't keep it in bounds as Jojo Levy had his back feet on the line. And fortunate for Shalhava right there that the Warriors player was on the line. They were running down the floor with some momentum. Had a chance to cut the lead to three right there. And a reminder to stay tuned for the Camp Step It Up halftime show coming up in about two and a half minutes. Here's Halpert, trying to create some separation. Gets it stolen. Dangerous dribbling by Arakanchi, not what he's known for. 
Mid-range shot. Missed that one by about a mile. And here's Halpert going into the lane. Gets his own board. Drawing the contact, Malamed. Great job at staying disciplined and keeping his two hands. Not going into to Halpert with too much contact. And Avi Halpert pleading with the refs for a call right there. Was able to get the defender in the air. Tried to go into him to get too easy on the stripe. He hasn't been able to buy a foul call so far in this one. But look for him to continue to, to stay aggressive. Here's Halpert with almost no space. The shooter's touch. Took a big bounce off of the rim. But Halpert gets going in the remaining two minutes of this half. There's Sardar with a three of his own. All day. Mark Sardar hitting the three to make it just a five point game. But just like that, she'll have it going the other way. Corner. Zane has it. Back out to Stern. Shalom. A series of dribble moves. Here's Halpert again. Spin move. Gets called for the travel. He left his feet. Great job by Maggie David to bring the double team to the premier scorer on Shall Heaven, Albi Halpert. As a substitution is made, Albert Moseri checking into the game for Jack Franco. Mark Sardar. Maggot looking to take a smart shot here. But the turnover is committed as Moseri also left his feet. A little too excited there. And shall have a continuing to dare these MDY perimeter players to shoot that three. They hit one a couple possessions ago. It's bound to happen if they're continued to be left open. But that's what Ryan Coleman for the Shawhaven Firehawks wants as Mitrone not able to get that three to go. Here's Elijah Stern. There's a bit of separation between the shot clock and the game clock. Looks like Shalhevet wants to hold it till the very end of this shot clock. Selim has the ball. Cut by Halpert, but Selim takes the shot. Air ball. Malamed gets it out. Magan has a few seconds to get the shot off. Three ball. No good. Halpert running the floor, gets fouled. Very smart foul there by Magan David because Halpert was off to the races. Yeah, not sure if that was intentional. Ended up being a great foul for the Warriors. Shall have had a lot more time than they thought. Halpert turning up the floor, was about to fire a full court shot. So he had six, he had six seconds to get it down the court. So a great foul right there, otherwise could have been a layup for the Firehawks. Boutron in the corner. Money ball! Yet another buzzer beater in this game. Shall have goes up 33 to 25 on MDI. We're gonna send it to the halftime show right after an interview with Verrett Kaplan, who is going over to Coach Coleman, I believe. Coach is still busy with his assistants trying to employ a game plan. Did a great pass right there from Avi Halpert, spotting the open man be charred in the corner, able to knock it down. So we're gonna send it down to our sideline reporter, Verrett Kaplan, who has Coach Coleman live. I was actually pretty disappointed with the way we finished the half. We started really well. Uh, we did not finish the way we wanted to. I think we, um, hopefully we'll get in the locker room and figure it out for the second half. Any key points of how you can slow down this, this new offense coming up? Yeah, well, we're not executing our game plan defensively. We're doubling off of the wrong side. We're not doing what we practiced this morning. 
So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get in there and make the adjustments that we need to make. All right, well, best of luck, Coach. Good Good Chavez. Chavez. Back to you guys. So some halftime adjustments for Coach Coleman are sure to be made. This is a pretty close game. Come back to us in the booth after the Step It Up Halftime Show. At Jump Shot, we believe that basketball is not an individual or isolated event that happens in your life only on the court. With that in mind, we created a program giving kids the skills to get better at basketball while also tapping into the hidden potential of how you can get better at the very game of life itself. We're taking basketball and we're supplementing it with a heavy load of Torah learning, chesed opportunities, and a focus on personal growth. When you get home from the summer, you will be a better basketball player. You gotta be willing to give us your all, but not for us. You gotta be willing to give it to yourself. See you next summer on Jump Shot.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is the Max Stern Athletic Center. This is the Step It Up Basketball Camp Halftime Show, and we've got big news. Camp Step It Up is back at Hobart College in Geneva, New York for summer 2023. Camp will start on June 21st and end on August 2nd with one to six week options. And we have an option for you. Hobart is located just 4.5 hours north of New York City and busing will be offered to camp from New York City and Tina. Camp is open to all boys and girls grades three to 12 with one to six week options available. Gorgeous campus facilities include air conditioned rooms, six indoor basketball courts, a weight room, a lakefront and beachfront on and near campus, lounges, and so much more. For more information, email office at campsteppitup.com or visit timetostepitup.com or call 888-600-0908. Asher, this game has only picked up from the start. What have you seen in this game that you have liked? Shell Heaven has come out firing to start this game. The opposite of what they did yesterday. Something that Coach Coleman loved to see, but Coach Coleman said when they were going into the locker room at half, he was unhappy to see them take their foot off the gas pedal a little bit, allow MDY to come back into this game, cutting the lead to five. Luckily for Shaw Havitt, Aiden Bitron was able to hit that three-pointer going into the halftime break, increasing that lead back up to eight. But MDY, I like what they've done defensively to slow down both Avi Halpert and Natan Selim, who had the incredible 20-point first quarter. Um, they came out in a triangle two defense, not allowing Avi Halpert and Selim to get anything going, forcing the other players in Stern, Jacobson, and Bitron to try and beat them. And that's when MDY will live this. We'll see if they continue to play that defense in the second half. As the players are coming out of the huddle, ready for some second half action. The referee is anxiously awaiting someone to inbound the ball. And we are off, almost. Still some complications on the scores table. Now we are off. There's Mark Sardar. He's been the floor general all day today. Malamed getting inside aggressive early. Gets the foul called for him and he is going to the line to shoot two. That is a foul on number 11, Jesse Cohen. And too easy of a catch down low for Malamed. We heard Coach Coleman say he was unhappy with the way Shalhava was helping on the weak side. They seem to be allowing him to catch on the block. Having another, having a second defender come from the weak side and disrupt that. The issue is when you have a guy like Bitron, who's about eight inches shorter than Malamed, doesn't really cause too much discomfort when he comes over to help. So Malamed's still able to draw that foul right there easily. Look for Shalhebet to adjust as this game progresses, maybe try and front him in the post. Malamed looking to hit the second, and he does. When you have a player as dynamic as Asher Malamed, it's a pity to underutilize him. So Mag and David looking to get him involved very early in the second half. Ball in the corner for Bitron. Pump fake. Here's Selim blocked by Malamed, and he's going the other way. Sardar. Goes up strong and finishes on the right side against Halpert. But just like that, Shalhevet gets called for the travel. Shuffled his feet in the lane too much. Jesse Cohen got ahead of himself. And it looks like a player on Mag and David is staying on the floor a little longer. Coach Dweck comes off of the bench to check on him. We hope he's okay. Not sure if the medical staff has to get involved here. Uh, 
as it looks like he's going to be all right. Slowly getting up as Coach Dweck is offering some words of encouragement, patting him on the shoulder, letting him know it's all going to be okay. Scary sight right there. Haber went skying for the block over Jacobson. The jump stop caught him off guard. Luckily, able to collect himself and walk off the floor with the help of Coach Dweck. And Coach Dweck, really a class act. One of the nicest guys that you'll meet. He's the first one off of that bench to go offer some support to his player. Just shows the kind of person that he is. As here is Jack Franco gonna inbound the ball. Cohen getting it inside to Muhammad. Dangerous pass. Cohen comes up with the steal, making up for the travel earlier. Three ball, Bitron. No good. Great rebound there by Muhammad. Sardar wisely pulls it out. Using that off arm to shield the defender from stealing the ball. Here's Malamed into the lane. Wild pass. Malamed a little bit out of control on the last few possessions. Not really knowing where he was going on that pass and turns the ball over. Rachel Heaven has done a good job adjusting, bringing the double earlier on. Forcing Malamed to pass the ball. Forcing him to a travel right there on that last possession. Here's Selim. Elijah Stern finds Bitron in the corner. Trigger Trey. Yes, sir. Bitron extends this lead for Shalhebet. Uh, Two Bichon leads by seven. Missing the last three on the last possession. Bitron, no lack of confidence, continuing to fire away from deep. Malamed doing a really good job there with the mid-air adjustment. Maintaining his confidence after a few costly turnovers. And you can hear Coach Coleman screaming from the Shalhebet bench, where is the help? Way too easy of a catch right there from Malamed. Selim was too late getting over there, picking up the foul, setting Malamed to the line for one more. Coach Coleman is furious with the defense from his team right now, allowing MDY to just get whatever they want through their best player in Asher Malamed. So MDY is sticking with it, not letting the lead go too much. Looks like there was a drop on that play. Shifty crossover by Selim, but he missed the mid-range shot. Maga David Ball. And don't want to be premature, but already three fouls for Shalavet. They got into foul trouble earlier in the first half. They're sending Mag and David to the line for one on one as early as around six minutes in the second quarter. Want them to remain aggressive. So look for them to try and limit the foul calls a little bit as this game progresses. Great job by Avi Halpert to shift his feet, not letting Mark Sardar get the edge on that play. Cohen into the lane, and he walked as well. The refs not letting anything get past them. That's what you'll have it wants to see on defense. Not allowing Malama to catch the ball, forcing the other players to beat them, which they haven't proven to be able to do so far. Steal by Franco, going the other way for the fast break. Left hand, no right hand finish on the left hand side. Franco triumphantly pumping his fist after that one. Nearly another steal, great hustle there by Sardar. Here's Salam. Gonna be a foul on the side. Some of these players on both teams are just laying their bodies out on the line. They so desperately want to win this game in advance in tier one play. Three ball Halpert, no space, no good. 
And a great rebound right there from Butron. This triangle two zone defense by Magan David can leave them vulnerable to offensive rebounds from Chavet. Malamed read that one like a book, going on the left side, gathering his feet. Here's Cohen, pump fake, lost the defender. No good off the backboard, but gets on the floor. Gritty play there by Cohen after his miss. Sardar finds Malamed, mismatch, but the charge is called. Beatron putting his body on the line against the bigger offensive player in Malamed. And great defense right there from Beatron. Taking the shoulder to the chest, that hurts from a guy as wide as Malamed. That was an easy two points for Nagin David had he not taken that charge. Great sacrifice right there shown from Beatron. My old coach, Rashad Hevin, Andrew Schultz, sitting on the bench over there, he used to call charges the Jewish dunk. We know not too many modern Orthodox players who can fly above the rim. What better way to get your crowd up and hyped than taking a charge? And a great job right there from Bitron. Bitron, reminiscent of the great charge taker Ursan Ilyasova on that play. Not much else he could do. Halpert misses the three-point shot. Is that really what Ursan Ilyasova is known for, his charge-taking abilities? Like I said, I don't think he's known for much else. <laughs> Here's Gindi, high arcing shot. Can't get it to fall. Cohen, another offensive board. He's been all over the place. Looking for those second chance opportunities. So I'm not happy with that foul call right there. He thought that should have been called a jump. As Coach Dweck will call a timeout. Try and talk things over for his team. Cutting the lead to just two points with 335. And we're going to send it to timeout. We'll be back after this. What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. Oh, my goodness! It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clipped today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. Welcome back, everybody, to this tight matchup in Tier 1 play. Follow your path at YU. Learn how you can jumpstart your graduate education with a Pathways Dual Degree or Early Assurance Program. Join us at our March Info Sessions taking place on campus or on Zoom. For the full schedule, please visit yu.edu slash pathways slash info sessions. Start planning for your future today. as it is really anyone's ball game at this point. Neither team able to break this game open and extend their leads. As here is Gindi. Sardar out of the timeout, gets it to Malam and nearly fumbles it. Sardar, bad pass, nowhere near Malamed. Great job by Shalhevet to deny the pass yet again, something that they've been doing so well. Yeah, great defense right there from Shalom. How do you even caught it? We saw Natan Selim coming over to help on the weak side. So good job by Shalhevet not letting Malamed touch the ball in the post. Dutron with the short crossover, but the pass was bad. Oh! Haber out there looking like Michael Jordan with that reverse spin move, gets it inside. Malamed with the finish. Malamed has 16 points. Tie ball game. Halpert gets the call that he wanted. And, uh, and Avi Halpert's dad sitting in front of us just looked, at the, just looked at the booth and said, finally got a foul call. We've seen some frustration from him throughout this entire game. I think this might just be his first two free throws so far in this one. 
He's remained aggressive. And one of the best ways to jumpstart your offense is getting to the line for a couple easy ones. Love to see the aggressiveness right there from Bobby Halpern. As Jack Haber checks out of the game with his fourth foul, which could prove very costly for Mac and David. He has been a pivotal player in this game so far as Halpert rims out with the second. Here's Sardar. Over to Cohen. A lot of aggression inside. That's four fouls on Al Shalom sending. No, not, not quite the bonus yet. We mentioned in the first half, he picked up three fouls in just a minute of action. The fourth on him, Coach Coleman's gonna send him to the bench. As Zane Mendelson now checks in, will now guard Malavid. Here's Sardar, controlling the pace. Calling for the screen. Franco. Malamud really can't get anything at that high post right now with the smothering defense of Zane Mendelson. A fight on the floor and a foul is called. Bitron is livid at the call and he has four fouls. Starting to sense a theme here. Bitron not happy with that call. Though it did look like a foul from my angle. Did a great job of forcing the ball onto the floor, forcing the defender onto the floor. But once he's in that position, no reason to jump on top of him and try and take it away. Keep him on the floor right there, wait for help to come. And likely a steal anyway. So not the wise decision right there for Boutrop. Already six fouls for Shalhevet. And Malamed playing bully ball, getting the two to go on the left-hand side. They'll have it looking to answer with some points of their own. Sell. Here's Elijah Stern, wisely resetting the ball. Great cut by Halpern, nearly losing it. And he does lose it. Sardar has the ball. And he carried it, that ball. Just about went over his head. And the first lead of the game for MDY with 135 left in this third period. Great job by them flipping the script in the second half, not allowing Selim or Halpert to get anything going. Here's Selim. That is a hard screen set, and the ref saw it. Cohen is holding his head. But like the warrior that he is, gets right back up. So much physicality by both teams in this game. Exactly what we anticipated. As we have about a minute 15 in this Third period, travel called again. Cohen might still be feeling the after effects of that fall. As Zane has the ball, getting it over to Elijah Stern. Gonna try to take the lead over Maga David. Looks like Stern is wide open in the corner. Zane hasn't seen him yet. There he is. Dog fight on the floor. Kickball is called by the referee. Staying here. And a tough angle for us up in the booth as the rowdy Shall Have It fan section is occupying that zone right now. Three ball, no good. Selim hasn't really been able to score in the second half as easily as he did in the first. Look for them to hold for one shot right here. 
Just three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Elijah Stern taking his time. A false call out from the crowd from Maga David trying to make Shaw have it force up a shot they don't want to take. Halpert, a series of dribble moves. Smothered by Malamid, great defense there with the stop. And we've got a one point ball game going into commercial break. We'll be back with some fourth quarter action. And welcome back to fourth quarter action here. Extremely tight matchup between Shal Heaven and Maggie David. One point game. And we would like to thank Chopsticks for being a proud Max Live sponsor. For the best Chinese food in Teaneck, you've got to go to Chopsticks. Head to ChopsticksUSA.com to order online. The link is in the description of this video. Really anyone's ball game here, Asher. What do both teams have to do to close out this game and come out on top? Yeah, and for Shaw Havet, it's going to be staying poised and working the ball through two best players, despite the fact that the MDY Warriors have tried to take them out. Both Avi Halpert and Nathan Sell not able to get anything going in the second half. Coach Dweck of MDY's defense proven to be very effective so far. Let's see how, how Coach Coleman is able to adjust in this fourth quarter. Going down by one point with MDY's first lead of the game, up 38-37. As here is Stern. Halpert has the ball going in from the right-hand side. Gets the foul and one! Flexing his muscles and asserting his dominance is Avi Halpert. And a great take right there from Halpert. Forcing the issue, commanding the ball on the wing. Two dribbles right at the basket. Head to head with MDY star Malamed, deading the bucket to go with the foul. The Firehawk, the Firehawk faithful on their feet. Excited to see some momentum shifting right now in this fourth quarter. Three point play is converted by Avi Halpert to make this a two point game. Here's Cohen over to Sardar, quick three ball, no good. Great rebound there. As Selim hit the floor after he skied for the rebound and got called for the travel. Yeah, just unfortunate, two Firehawks players going for that rebound. Selim, I believe, lands on the other Firehawk player's foot. Fell down, getting the travel call, but Shaw Heaven is gonna live with the MDI Warriors settling for shots behind the arc right there. Anything but Malama touching the ball, they will live with. As we see Zane Mendelson again denying the ball to Malama, not allowing any touch. As here's Haber over to Sardar. Malama looking for the call inside. Halpert all over him. This is the matchup that we wanted to see. Selim comes up with the steal. Malama wanted it back, but got too handsy. And Malamud frustrated that he wouldn't get the ball right there. The issue is there's nothing else his teammates could have done. Michelle Hevett honing in on him defensively. 
even the all ball defender on the wing right there sagging off and daring him to shoot that three ball. Just doing anything they can not to allow him to touch the ball in that post area. So good job right there from Shahavid defensively. Let's them to continue that. Halpert trying to go ISO. Spin move. Gets it into the quarter. Zane, three ball. No good. As that call will be on Mag and David. And something Coach Coleman loves to see. Though Mendelssohn wasn't able to get the tray to go. Great hustle by Selim. Crashing the offensive glass, forcing the foul. And the next one on the MDY Warriors will send Chalhevich to the free throw line for a one and one. Dangerous pass inside, but Halpert throws up a prayer and he's gonna go to the foul line. I believe that may, never mind. I thought that was an offensive call for a second with Chalhevich five walking down the floor. A shooting foul on MDY, so it'll be two free throws right now for Halper at the line. Great inbound play right there from Shaw Evett. And Halper trying to knock down the second one, increasing this lead to four. So already two quick buckets, or two aggressive moves, I should say, from Avi Halper to open up this fourth quarter. Something they were in dire need of in the third quarter not able to get anything going between Halpert and Selim. Let's see what Coach Dweck does to respond to Avi Halpert's play for the rest of this fourth quarter. There's Halpert, sick in the second. His play has not been so pretty today as it usually is, but it has been pretty. Working for all of his buckets. Here's Malamed inside. Three Shalhevet defenders are all over him. Gindy comes up with the ball somehow. Sardar into the lane. Left hand. And the charge is called yet again. Avi Halpert fell to the floor but made a big heads up play. Drawing the charge there. And Coach Dweck is arguing his case with the referee. A great Jewish jam right there. From Avi Halpert showing to do it on both ends of the floor. That will fire up. This shall have it crowd. A huge momentum shifter right there, up four points with 620, trying to increase his lead right now. There's Halpert, starting to gain his confidence. Passes it inside, beautiful look to sell him. Just missed it. Coach Dweck yelling at the top of his lungs. Trying to get the ball to Malamud again. Great defense by Zane Mendelson down there. As I say, he gets the catch. Heads up play there by Malamud to find the cutting Gindi when he was double teamed and did not have the shot opportunity himself. Ball swung into the corner, Bertrand. Pretty pass, Zane Mendelson, quarter three. Misses it again, Salem follows it up. Tough bucket inside. For Selim, timeout called. We're gonna send it to commercial break. What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. Ruth Allen for Terrell, oh my goodness! It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clipped today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. This game is picking up with 5.27 left in the fourth quarter and we would like to thank Como Pizza for being one of our sponsors for some great pizza, pasta, salads, and even awesome breakfast options. Go to Como Pizza where they will be streaming the game in the store. Ball worked inside to Malamed and he finishes against the contact, making it a two-point game. 
Gierster going in for the Eurostep. Did not have it with the left hand. Getting nowhere near the rim on that play and Coach Coleman pretty frustrated with that last possession. Yeah, not happy with that, allowing MDY to get exactly what they want with Malamud in the post. Maybe got away with an offensive foul call, Malamud throwing Zane Mendelson to the floor as Zane Mendelson tries to front him again, not allowing him to even touch the ball down there. And he pulls it off, Zane Mendelson. A great hustle and defense by Zane Mendelson. Really the hero of this game, coming in off the bench and stopping Malamud time and time again. A great job right there from Mendelssohn. And we're gonna send it to a break. We'll be back right after. Welcome back, folks. And on that last possession, we saw the defensive intensity of Zane Mendelssohn moving his hands quickly, fronting Asher Malamed, who is one of the most difficult assignments in this tournament. And it will be Shalhevet Ball going into the closing minutes of this fourth quarter. And great hustle by Zane Mendelssohn. We said it going into the timeout, but not allowing Malamed to catch the ball down there. He's their everything player. The only player who scored, although he assisted on a bucket a couple plays ago. But in this entire second half, seems to be the only way their offense have, has proven effective. And Halpert, not able to get it to go. Neither is Selim with the offensive rebound. MDY running down the floor with the head of steam, trying to tie it or even take the lead with 4.24 remaining in this one. Here's Cohen, thought about the three. Sardar. Can't find Malamud. Jack Haber, who is in some foul trouble right now, checking back into the game. Sardar lets it fly from three, no good. Selim going the other way. Halper behind the back move. Pulling it out wisely. Bitron. Mendelssohn. Stern. Here's Halpert. Great pass inside to Selim. Finishes with the and one. Avi Halpert and Nathan Selim working that two main game to perfection. And Selim has 24 points in this game, really coming into his own. And only four points since the first quarter, we should say. But a great time to do it, able to get it to go for the and one. And a great set called right there from Coach Coleman. Setting up their best player, Avi Halper, on the wing. Shows extreme patience, holding the ball, scanning his options across the floor, and then waiting for Selim with a nice cut, one dribble finish, able to get it to go for the end one. And it looks like number 11 guard Jesse Cohen has fouled out, earning his fifth foul there. Selim with 25 now. Really racking up the stat sheet on the offensive and defensive end. There's Malamed the, at the top of the key. The entire defense holds in on Malamed. They'll allow him to catch it out there. Not much of a threat from behind the arc. Four guys on Malamed and they'll live with that Three shot ball, in the corner. No good. That's four fouls on Malamud right there. He's frustrated with the lack of touches offensively. But great job by Ryan Coleman adjusting their entire defense surrounding Malamud, even when he's off the ball, even standing in the middle, daring the rest of these MDY Warriors to keep firing away from deep. They've tried their luck. Unfortunately, not able to get many to fall. 
We'll see if Coach Dweck is able to draw something up. Seems to be running a substitution right here. We'll see if they can change things up on offense. Try to get Moab with the ball somehow. Michelle Heva trying to increase this lead to seven points, 317 remaining. Worth noting that Asher Malamud is in a dangerous spot right now with four fouls. That is the last guy that Magnet David wants to lose late in this game. He is their rock, he is their superstar. As Franco lets it fly from three. Asher Malamud has to be careful here, but he gets the steal, goes inside. Lucky that he got called there and he didn't get the charge. And that could have just ended the game right there. Had the ref called a charge on Malamud. Luckily for him, going to the line for two free throws. But before that turnover, that turnover from Mendelssohn, a great job boxing out Malamud, who probably has eight to 10 inches on him. So a great job on Mendelssohn, boxing out and securing the rebound, unfortunately turning it over after the fact. But great hustle from Mendelssohn. We'll continue to mention it, done a great job on Malamud as Malamud tries to cut the lead right now, not able to get the first one to go. And if there was anyone seated in the Shell Hevet fan section, they are no longer seated. Everyone on their feet as we reach the closing minutes of this fourth quarter. Astro Malamud hits that second free throw. Bitron, Halpert, beautiful job. Selim finishes at the other end. Perfect execution there by Shell Hevet to break the press. Here's Shalmi. Franco again from three all day. Jack Franco cutting down this deficit. Dangerous pass there. Nearly gets the steal. Malamed wants it. And that's it. That's five on Malamed. He's not happy with the call. He will sit for the rest of this one, I believe. And never mind. No longer. <laughs> they changed the foul call. Not on Malamed. I believe it was on number 10. So the foul was on Jack Franco and the entire Mag and David bench just breathed a sigh of relief. The fact that Asher Malamed will be staying in this game at least a little bit longer. First free throw missed by Petron. But he hits the second. Substitutions will be made. That's, that's Josh Oscari checking in for Vichon. Bringing in some height. Doing everything in their power to prevent Malama from passing the ball in the post. Here's Haber, three ball lines it up. Yes, sir! Jack Haber brings it within three. For Maggie David, full court pass. Selim's there to catch it. Block from behind. What an emphatic block. And that, and that is a bad call from the referee right there. It was clearly off the MDY Warriors. But a great block right there from MDY. Not giving up on the play, getting back and blocking Selim's layup attempt. A chance to cut the deficit to just one or tie the game up right here. Down three with two minutes left. Here's Malamed. Almost converts a tough finish. As shall have it, it's gonna to wanna to use the entire shot clock here to maintain their lead. Doesn't wanna rush into anything. Here's the trusty point guard, Elijah Stern. And Coach Coleman calls the timeout. We're gonna stay live. We do not wanna miss any of this action. And Asher, we're starting to sweat up here in the booth because things are really heating up. What do both of these teams have to do to try to secure this win in the closing two minutes? Yes, y'all have it. Needs to continue to slow down the ball, play within themselves, but also continue to get the ball to their two best players in Natan Selim and Avi Halpert. That's when they've proven to be their best 
offensively. And then for the MDY Warriors, seemingly up until just a minute ago, all of their offense the entire way, working through Malamud until Franco right there, as well as Haber, able to knock down back-to-back -back three balls. What better time to do it than with two minutes remaining in this game, continuing to chip away at Shalhevet's lead. So we'll see what the Firehawks are able to do to prevent their shooters from shooting while also not allowing Malamud to get easy catches down low on the block. Well, the pressure is certainly on as it is anyone's ball game. We're gonna see here which team has more experience, more poise, and which team wants this game more. Zane Mendelson gonna inbound the ball to Elijah Stern, starting from behind the half court line. Here's Halpert. Time running down the shot clock, Halpert. All day for Halpert. Holds up the three point dagger side to the bench. Maggie David gonna have to work very quickly here to try to cut down this deficit. Here's Malamud inside. Gets it to go with the end one. Are you kidding me, Asher Malamud? He's going to try to make this a three point play and make this a one possession ball game. And a great job by Malamud. We see both teams flexing their star power in the last minute and a half of this game for the Firehawks. Halpert, one of the best players in this tournament, knocking down a tough three, which I thought may, may have been the dagger. Malamud coming back with an and one of his own, trying to cut the deficit to just three right now. Able to get it to go. Another full court press for MDY. Shall have it. Has been able to break it pretty easily throughout this game. Don't want to jinx anything, but we'll see what they can do. And almost gets a steal, but a wide open Selim on the other end. And he makes this a two possession game. Perfectly drawn up by Coach Coleman to break that press. Sardar has Gindy inside at the high post. Pump fake, Sardar, three ball. Yes! Sardar with the three, makes it a two point game. And the Mag and David Warriors are climbing their way back into this game. Great shot right there from Sardar. A little bit of helter-skelter offense right there, swinging the ball around. But the entire shall have a defense focused on denying Malama the ball down low. Maybe a little bit of confusion as MDY drove the ball into the teeth of the defense, able to kick it out to Sardar for the wide open triple, sinks it. The third guy for Mag and David showing that he can strike it from deep just in the last three minutes of this game. Really showed no signs of being able to hit that, that long ball up until recently, but what better time than now, cutting the deficit to just two points with 40 seconds remaining. We got a good one on our hands at the Max Stern Athletic Center. Mark Sardar with some ice in his veins, showing that big time players make big time plays. This is coming down to the wire, a real nail biter here, as both teams coming out of the timeout Coaches calling out some last minute instruction. And just a five second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And Mag and David electing to come out in the press. Never mind, they take a back seat. We'll see if they foul, just a five second difference. May need a foul, look for them to trap potentially. I shall have it crosses the half court mark right here. It seems like they won't. Here's Selim at the top, who's been the hero of this game so far. Halpert nearly loses the ball. Stern, Bitron, smothered by the empty wide defenders who come up with the steal and it's going the other way. Malamud with the ball, gets it to, no, he misses it. Nearly got it to go. And number 22, Mark Sardar, Hitting the scorer's table hard there. 
We hope he's okay. He looks a little bit shaken up. A rare missed layup from Asher Malamed there when he could have tied the day. He's been doing it all day long. But that was the one that they needed most. And Malamed, of course, unhappy with himself after that one. Has played a stellar game the entire way. Really has done it all for this offense. Unfortunately, not able to get that layup to go. Would have tied it. We'll see if Selim can knock on his two free throws to increase the four. If MDY can hang around and have a chance to hit a three ball to tie it up. And with that shot, Nathan Selim has 30 points. This guy has been the man for Shall Have It today, doing just about everything. And if he hits this next free throw, it may take a miracle to Mag for Mag and David to pull this one off. Not sure how many timeouts Mag and David has left, but I like the call right there from Coach Dweck. Both being able to ice the free throw shooter and Natan Selim for Shahabit, as well as potentially drawing up a full court play in the event that he misses it. If Selim's able to hit the shot, very little chance. I would say I would say it's impossible for Rag and David to come back in this game down four points with just two and a half seconds left. But if he misses the shot right here, look for Coach Sweck to draw a miracle up on his clipboard, pull a rabbit out of the hat, and try and tie this game up, send it to overtime. But it's all dependent on whether Selim's able to knock down his free throw right here. Well, as we learned from years past in the Saracek tournament, nothing is impossible, but it's gonna take a miracle, like you said. The Maggot David bench must be saying their prayers right now, going into Shabbos. This is everything right now. Nathan Selim looks confident, nodding his head. Taking his time from the free throw line. And that one is good, Nathan Selim. Too little, too late. And the clock didn't start. What in the world just happened there? Coach Coleman furious with just what, with what just transpired. It looks like the ref is going over to the scores table to try to sort something out. I read his lips there, I think he might have said Point two, maybe he said 2.2. And they'll now impound the ball. It'll be Shaw Heaven's ball with point two out of their basket. Inbound, close out the game. And a great hard fought battle from both teams. The number one seed, Shaw Heaven, able to take down the number eight seed, Mag and David Warriors. But a great fight from both sides. And in just a moment, we're going to send it over to the sideline for an interview with Ryan Coleman over there. We're going to have a quick commercial break. We'll be back with Coach Coleman right after. What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clipped today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are.
Hello, everyone, and welcome to the YU Pathways program postgame show. Start your future career sooner and save time and money with one of our YU Pathways programs, earning credits towards or applying for a graduate degree as early as your junior year. Visit yu.edu slash pathways for more information. Now we have the privilege of hearing from the superstar of the game, Nathan Selam. We're going to send it down to our sideline reporter, Barrett Kaplan. Barrett, take it away. Thank you guys so much. Natan, what a game. The sweat's dripping down. The hero of Shell Have It. What did it take to become Superman today? Just uh, my team having faith in me. You know, the free throw line was a big part of the game. Uh, Josh Maradian, a uh, mentor from last year, taught us how to shoot the ball. And that's what happened. Got it. And looking forward, how are we going to keep this momentum up? You guys want to win it all, maybe. What's it going to take to win it all? Just coming together as a team, you know. It's just uh, about teamwork. And when uh, teams come together in tough situations and pull through, Well, you deserve it. You guys deserve the win. Have a wonderful Shabbos, and we'll hopefully see you guys again later. Thank you guys so much. Back to you over there. Thank you, Barrett. Great to see Nathan Selim in good spirits as he advances into the next round of Tier 1 play. We're getting ready for the next game between Valley Torah and Katz. And Asher, what do you think of that performance by Shell Heaven to secure the win there? Yeah, great improvement from the start of yesterday's game as they came out really slow against the MTA Lions yesterday. Coming out, firing on all cylinders to start this one. But a chess match between both of these coaches, MDY adjusting, taking out the two best players for Shell Heaven allowing their star player in Asher Malamed to get anything he wanted on the offensive end of the floor. But a great hard-fought battle from both teams in that one. And we should see a good matchup here between the KYHS Storm and the Valley Tour Wolfpack. All right, we're going to sign off here and get ready for the next game. Have a good one.